Right, well I've got a Hyundai Tucson to show you, and this is a 1.7 diesel, and it's an SE nav, which was the most popular model at the time, and uh, this is actually a manual as well. So let's take you around and show you this car. So starting on the front, we've got daytime running lights, and we've also got front fog lights. Nice set of alloy wheels on this car, as you can see. We've got uh, colour-coded door mirrors with integrated indicators. Now there is a dent in that rear door there, but we would take care of that. As we come round to the rear of the car, you've got a shark's fin aerial, we've got a rear spoiler, and then you've also got reversing sensors and you've got a reversing camera as well. But let's take you in and show you the boot. So we've got a decent sized boot as you can see, um, and you've also got that 60-40 split, so you can uh, put that down to make the boot even larger. And then just underneath here, a real rarity, you've got a full size alloy wheel on that one. So uh, not, uh, not something that normally happens anymore. Right, let's take you down the driver's side of the car. Finished off in this nice metallic gray, which is called Micron Gray. Right, well, let's take you onto the interior of this car and show you that. So we've got a nice dark gray come blue upholstery on it. I've got the center armrest down just so you can see that, but it is a proper three seater. And then just to show you, you have got ducted ventilation to the rear of the car as well. Now the car comes with uh, two remote control keys. Right, let's show you on the driver's door. So you've got control over all four electric windows. You've got your central door locking button and you've also got your electric folding door mirrors. So on the driver's seat, you, as you can see, you've got height adjustment. In fact, the steering column is also adjustable for height and reach. And then the little button behind is adjustable lumbar support, electric lumbar support on that one. And then again, to show you, so been very nicely kept this car. And just to show you to the side of the steering wheel, we've got lane departure warning system and you can also control both your interior and exterior lights on that. But let's show you the mileage on this car. Right, so done 66,600 miles. Um, so nice, uh, nice mileage for a car of this age. Now you've also got um, auto lights on this car. Now let's show you what else we've got. So on the uh, steering wheel, on the right hand side here, we've got your trip computer and also your cruise control. On the left hand side here, we can control the uh, seed, uh, sorry, your, uh, your media center and also Bluetooth. So let's show you that media center. So at the moment we've got it on satellite navigation like that. I'll just put it onto radio as well. So as you see, we've got DAB radio on there, and then I'll pop her into reverse so you can see the reversing camera. And there we go, so making parking nice and easy. Now the SE nav also had climate control air conditioning, and it's dual zone, so you can dial in the temperature that you want. And then another nice thing, you've also got, as you can see here, heated front seats on it. Below that, a couple of power points, your auxiliary and your USB. It's a six-speed manual on this car, so that makes uh, the best of the, uh, the diesel on this one, so you do get some really good uh, fuel economy. Just to run through the buttons next to the, to the thing, we've got driver's mode, we've got hill descent, you can turn the engine start stop off if you wish, and you could also turn the parking sensors off. Now this car is a two-owner car, but we have done all the servicing, let me just show you some of that as you can see on that one, all done by Coopers. Now this car would come, uh, as you've seen, serviced, but you'd also get a one-year warranty on it. Anyway, I hope that's given you a good idea of this vehicle. If there's any more information you want, please let us know and we'd be happy to help you. Thank you.